Hey rainbows! Today's video is a collab with Simmer Plays, so I'll explain this collab to you guys in just a moment, but if you guys like custom content and finding new custom content, then make sure you go subscribe to their channel because their entire channel is mostly custom content finds and lookbooks with links, and they do mostly create a sim custom content, but I have seen some build mode custom content on there as well, so make sure you go subscribe to Simmer Plays. Their information is in the video description below. But Simmer Plays reached out to me after my last collab and we decided to do a custom content swap essentially. So we both completely cleared out our custom content folders, which I have not done in a really long time. And then we sent each other the links to our own custom content that we use. And Simmer Plays mostly uses alpha custom content, although they do have some Maxis Match. I did not download the Maxis Match though. I only downloaded the alpha custom content because I wanted it to be just completely new and different custom content. I think the only thing in here that I have used or that I do use is some of the eyelashes, but not even all the eyelashes. I don't think I even chose eyelashes that I normally use. But basically I decided to pick four of our characters from our Royal Family series. Very popular characters. As you can see here, we have our King, King Henry IV of Windenburg. And then we're also going to be giving makeovers to Princess Anya of Glimmerbrook, Prince Jabari of Selva Dorada, and Princess Bellatrix of Windenburg. This is actually a younger, or it was a younger version of King Henry. That was when he was a young adult. But now we are in Princess Anya. I do wanna go back and talk about uh, King Henry really quickly though. So with him, because as you guys can see, all of the custom content is a lot more casual. So I was trying to figure out looks that would go with him. However, you guys will see screenshots at the end. The two looks I choose for him are completely different looks. So I think I just wanted to see what all the custom content would look like on them because he looked completely different. When he was a young adult and a teenager, he did have that hair that kind of like swooped over to the side. So I did find something similar with the alpha custom content from Simmer Plays. So I chose something like that too, but oh my gosh, you guys, he looked so, so different. It was so interesting to see and they look more real for sure. I do know that a lot of you guys either prefer Maxis Match or like to use both Maxis Match and Alpha Custom Content, which is what I usually do. However, I do mostly have Maxis Match Custom Content. So it was so interesting to see them in this Alpha Custom Content and that they look more real. I didn't really use like skin details or anything like that, but I tried to do as much as I can and make them kind of look like what they would look like if they were not royal sims, I guess. Especially with Anya, hers was a lot of fun. I gave her a really edgy look because as you guys know, Anya is more like the evil twin of her and Araminta. So I gave her something a little bit more edgy and it was a lot of fun to see the different things that I could do. I didn't have, like they, oh my gosh, Silver Place gave me so many links for the custom content. I did not download all of them, but if I did, I would have had a lot more to choose from. So I was a little bit more limited with what I could choose, but I thought what we picked worked really well. I would have probably liked to have a few more options, especially for hair for the guys, but it was my fault for not downloading all of it. But with Anya, okay, so especially with this dress, cause it's a little bit scandalous, but yeah, I feel like this is what they would look like if they were just in like a regular Let's Play series. So it's really cool to see them in all the different looks. With Anya's hair that she has in our Royal Family series, it's almost like a little bit of a mix between Maxis Match and Alpha custom content, but the alpha, like straight alpha just looks so, so different. It's also interesting because in the past when I've done collabs, I have had other simmers or the person I was doing the collab with, they were the ones to give our characters makeovers. So now I'm the one giving them a makeover, but with someone else's custom content. So that was a lot of fun. Now we are on Prince Jabari and you guys will see, I struggled finding a hairstyle for him a lot because the one that I thought fit best I didn't like as much just on him specifically. I should have chose more options and you guys will see, I kind of go back and forth. I almost went with like a shaved look for him, which is actually just a broken custom content, but it looked just like a shaved head, but I ended up changing that a little bit later. I will probably keep some of the custom content that I have from this video. However, I don't think I'm going to be keeping any of the alpha custom content hair or some of the clothes too, just because I don't really use the casual clothes 
clothes in our royal family. And even though I do like seeing them in the different style and in the alpha custom content, I don't think I could continue playing it that way in my series just because it's so different. And I do prefer Max's match for just my Sims. That's just a personal preference. But I did spend a lot of time on Jabari's outfit, just trying to find something different. I almost tried to settle on something that did look something similar to what he wears, just like a little bit, like, I don't know, what he wears is kind of casual, but also not really. Like, Salvadorada style is a little bit more different, but I tried to veer away from that as much as possible, just because I did want to give them, like, complete makeovers. I realized that Jabari wears a lot of neutral tones. That probably won't be the case once he marries Amira, though, because he'll probably wear more Windenburg clothing in their style. But for this, I just tried to do something a little bit brighter, but I don't think I was that successful for that. But now we're doing Princess Bellatrix or Princess Bella. And for her, I did end up going with a little bit more of a shorter hairstyle. Even though she has curly hair in our series, I couldn't find like a short hairstyle that I liked that looked good on her that was also curly. So I ended up going with this, which I think she looks adorable in. And I know a lot of people were commenting that we don't use a lot of short hairstyles for our royal sim. So I am trying to do that a little bit more. It's just kind of what I feel like fits them best. So I actually think this fits her really well. If I can find something similar that's Max's match, but also like it has a little bit of curls in it, I'd really like to give that to Bellatrix because she looks so good in it. And I'm glad that I chose Bellatrix for this. I try to choose Sims that we haven't done makeovers for or that hasn't participated in a collab in the past. And Princess Bellatrix is one of my favorite. I like her because I feel like she's really tough. And I tried to kind of show that in the way she dresses, but I still feel like she's a little bit materialistic and that she likes pink too. Like she looks so good in like the pale pink colors. So I wanted to go with that for her because the Windenburg colors are purple and pink and she just looks so good in it. But I did try to do something a little bit different for her. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think about their new looks and everything and like their casual looks. I feel like I could probably dress them in a little bit more casual clothing because I started watching The Crown on Netflix and they dressed up in like pretty casual clothing some of the time. So I was thinking that maybe I should do that as well. But I think for Bellatrix, cause she does wear a lot of pantsuits in our series. So I do actually have her wearing like pants in this. And then I do have her in a pantsuit for her next outfit. I tried to give them all two different outfits. One like a slightly more dressed up and then one more casual just because I wanted to see the two. But I just really didn't have anything similar to our royal family outfits, which I kind of liked. It's actually really nice doing something a little bit different. I know that my channel is very well known for their royals and also for Dynasty who also dress up a lot. So it is kind of nice just to see what they would look like in more casual clothing. But I really love Simmer Plays custom content. It's so much fun just seeing them look so different. I mean, they look so cool. So I will be showing some screenshots to you guys so you guys can see each of their different outfits. Definitely let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to Simmer Plays and check out their channel and see all of the custom content that they have. You can find all of the custom content in this video on their channel. They have so many videos with links. If you enjoyed this collab, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any suggestions for other video ideas for either collabs or just other videos other than my Let's Play series, then definitely make sure you comment that below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.